every day that I get to come in and open and work in my own restaurant. That's a lot of people's dreams, it's a lot of hard work. And so I never really take it for granted. Every day I try to come in and do one thing better, try to come in and do something that's gonna make people happy or you know, make people's day. I came to a point where I kinda of had an idea for what I wanted to do. It was locally sourced, seasonally inspired comfort food. And to sort of do it in a bit more of an informal setting, I had no experience in management, restaurant ownership. My first job was dishwashing at a restaurant, and I think I was instantly taken by the energy and pace and attitude of the people who worked in the restaurant. At that point, I kind of knew exactly what I was wanting to get into, uh, which eventually led me to wanting to own my own restaurant. When I come into the restaurant in the morning, it's just kind of get the day started, get some music going, brew some coffee for the crew, get some soups warmed up, take a look at our prep list. Working in a kitchen is not your typical work day. You're gonna be cooking for four or five hours and one person could show up or a thousand could show up. And no matter what, you have to put out amazing food for every single one of those people, whether it's 10 or a million. We'll get to a point where we'll be a line out the door for three hours and you just know there's no end in sight. But there is an end in sight, so you gotta keep taking it one ticket at a time. You kinda just have to learn your lessons. You know, one of the things I tell my crew all the time is that it's important to make mistakes um, because that's how you learn. Some people learn from reading a recipe. Some people learn from watching me do it. Some people learn from doing it themselves and messing it up a couple times, and the next time they make it, it's probably even better. Cornstarch and Romano cheese, all that goes into here. Prep so speed, we can definitely increase, but again, this is the first and second time you're making things, so. Kitchens are notorious for long hours, strenuous conditions, heat, knives. You're just working in an environment of controlled chaos and fire, and you really gotta try to do your best to navigate